Hey guys and thank you for the uh, kind response of the latest video. Today we're going to do a quick uh, capo comparison video. Uh, we, let's begin with this Talia capo I have it right here. It's the golden one. Um, this capo is uh, my favorite capo today. Uh, kind of a spoiler. Uh, it's um, snake wood on it. Mattress my Gibson uh, SJ200. Really good. Solid quality. Um, Bit heavy though, a bit heavy. The next capo up is this uh, page click capo. This is the click version. Super nice capo, very lightweight. Uh, you barely feel you have a capo on your guitar. All metal. Um, next up is this uh, G7 Art capo. Uh, really, really nice capo as well. Um, as well as the Thalia, it's a bit pricey, but you get what you're paying for. Then we have the most common one, I think, uh, Kaiser Capo. They are everywhere. They have a spring-loaded uh, mechanism uh, that it's not adjustable. Um, Kaiser said you can adjust it if you bend it, but it, it doesn't sound right. Uh, so, so from stock from the packaging, it's not adjustable. Natalia is. Um, I mean, with my eyes because they have a different kind of finishes and woods and the inserts are uh, the key to everything because every guitar have uh, brand almost everyone has different radiuses electric guitar has different radiuses and uh, if you have a mandolin they, they have inserts for everything and uh, the other capos uh, are, are um, uh, stuck to one radius the, the page click one of course you can tension it quite a lot and then it will flex into it but but in, you can also get in a position where you're not in tune anymore okay so the click page click capo as you can see here um, can easily be removed and fastened and adjusted with this uh, knob uh, it's a two-hand operation the G7 capo can show you here it's a uh, one hand operation super easy uh, really great capo and then we have the Kaiser capo uh, one hand operation uh, it's a really hard spring on this one I, I, that that's why I'm not liking it I think it, it doesn't adjust and it's it's a uh, heavy pressure all the time Can show you guys on the G7 here. It's um, super easy to adjust. It stays there, solid. Same with um, the Thalia, of course. It stays in place, easy to move. Um, yeah, it, it, and it, and it's a perfect fit every time. And those inserts, of course, they have this. Um, numbering on them see if i can get in focus here it's just the inch of the radius it's super easy uh, so you check up what you could or have and you put it in and it's a perfect fit every time you can store these um, capos in various ways uh, this one you can store above uh, the nut um, like this you can um, Easily grab it when you want, then you can have it in a hanger, so that's a issue with that one. Uh, the Kaiser you can store on the head like that, simple. I do not recommend that, the finish uh, will be damaged. And then you have the, the G7, you can store it on the nut and you can store it on the head, super nice. Easy to gig with. And the page, of course, it can be stored uh, on the guitar all the time, above the nut, hanging like that. If you adjust it too much, of course, your guitar will, will end up uh, out of tune, so don't press too hard. Um, and, and I think that's why I like the, the, the click one. It can be there if you're gigging, it can always be with you. Just pull it down when you need it, and then uh, pull it up again. Because on gigs it's easy to, to put your capo or your plectrum somewhere and then you can't find it and you get stressed out. But if you have that on your guitar, it, it's no weight added 
and uh, it can always be there. Uh, and if you put it on a hanger, you have to pull it down like I'm doing like that. Uh, yeah, thank you for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, give me a thumb up if you liked the video and uh, put a comment in if you want. Bye.